it's hard to realize that the youngest of the family is the first to go. Yeah. That's that I find very difficult because yeah. he was so much younger than our oldest brother. I always thought it would be the oldest and then the youngest. It's at the, the end. natural order. Yes, but yeah, that's it's... hard. I'm Adrian Gobriel. Today inside the 519 right here behind me on Church Street, we heard from victim Andrew Kinsman's sisters. Though before the large press conference, I spoke privately with both Karen and Patricia, Andrew Kinsman's sisters, and they delivered a very clear message for Andrew's alleged killer, Bruce MacArthur. Let us know. Like, if, if you know, let us know where everyone is. If there's more than one person, you know, which they suspect more, you know, Tell us, let us, let us have Andrew back. We want him back, his remains. The fact that those haven't been found yet, what is that like for you? Well, as you can imagine, it's, it, it is as awful as him being missing, but at least, you know, we have some closure. Patricia, when we spoke back in August, you had <laughs> said, you know, this was hard to sleep. You wake up in the morning, you think about him. I think about him all day. I go to bed, I think about him, where he is. Does this bring some sense of closure for you, or is this another step in the journey? It's a small closure. Um, the next step is proving him guilty and having him put away. And lastly, we just want Andrew back. We want Andrew back so that we can put him to rest. Both Karen and Patricia were like mothers to Andrew. Both were in their teens when he was born, and they helped raise him. He went everywhere they went. They grew up enjoying life on four acres in Pickering. Though there was also another victim in this case, 44-year-old Salim Essen. He went missing on April 14th of 2017, though unfortunately not much is known about him, other than the fact that he was from Turkey and had battled with substance abuse and was on the path to turning his life around, according to friends. Most, if not all, of his family is still overseas. Today, no one spoke on his behalf. Karen and Patricia offered their condolences to his family and as for Andrew, they want the world to know what kind of brother he was. Wonderful, kind, loving brother and friend. Yeah. A good, a good person. He yes. probably did nothing wrong in his life ever. Now ahead on City News, some other disturbing information from other men missing in the church and Wellesley neighborhood and one man's potential tie to an alleged killer. I want to bring in Adrian Gorbiel now. So you've been looking into um, concerns raised when it comes to the silence of other missing men in this community. Yeah, that's right, Pfizer. Earlier today, I spoke uh, with uh, the, the Kinsman sister, Andrew Kinsman's sisters. Now, though there's another victim in this case. His name is uh, uh, Salim Essen. And there hasn't been a lot spoken about him. And there's also other men who have gone missing in recent years here in the church in Wellesley Village, which also there's been just a lot of silence. Now, other than Kinsman, most of the men have gone missing in this neighborhood in recent years have been of South Asian or Arab background. And when it comes to that silence, it's a concern to many in this neighborhood, and some believe it could have to do with their ethnic backgrounds. Is it a concerning trend when you see men of Middle Eastern backgrounds, South Asian backgrounds kind of fall off and disappear into the abyss with not a lot of discussion or, or, or traction? Yeah, I had this conversation with my husband when the posters started to appear around the village a few years ago that there was very, it seemed to us that there was a, a pattern uh, or a look of some of the men. The unfortunate reality for some, again, and this is just some, is that perhaps in some families, would you say that there's shame when there is an individual who is gay? Yeah, I think so. I think for some families that is definitely an, an issue and even if it's not an issue what I have witnessed, even if it's not an issue in the immediate family, there's a concern about how the larger community that they come from will respond to them. So I often say that sometimes when, when some people come out, their families go in the closet. Another troubling trend, Skandaraj Navaratham, also known online as Skandanava, vanished on September 16th, 2010 after leaving zippers with an unknown man. City News has learned he's Facebook friends with murder suspect Bruce MacArthur, though police have not said if they believe he's one of the other potential victims or if one of a long list of other men who've also disappeared from the neighborhood and those cases which have gone unsolved could also be part of this case. Now, Toronto Police Homicide also tweeting out today that they have no further comments at this time.